Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we're going to be working a problem from the Water Resources Depth section of the Civil PE exam. So let's get started. The question asks, which of the following water treatment techniques is least effective in taste and odor control? A. Aeration B. Activated carbon C. Potassium permanganate or D. Chlorine dioxide So this is an example of a concept problem that might be asked on the PE exam. And these concept problems, it's important to identify what is being asked and what resources we use to solve this. So the first thing I like to do is refresh myself with what's being asked and go back and reread the problem statement. So in this case, they're asking for the least effective water treatment technique for controlling taste and odor. So we know water treatment involves drinking water and then I also underline least effective. That way I'm keeping myself on track as a reminder as we're working through to solve this problem as to what we're, what it, we're being asked to solve for. So the resource that we're going to use in this on the water resources breadth exam, you'll be provided a electronic PDF resource of the 2018 edition at the time of this recording for the recommended standards for water works. So I'm going to write that down. Recommended standards for water works and at the time of this recording, this is the 2018 edition of this document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up each of these treatment techniques in this document and see what it says. So I'm just going to work through them one by one. When I look up aeration, I see that that on page 80 of the document, so I'll write that down. And I see that that is listed as a treatment technique that is effective in taste and odor control. So I'm going to cross that one out because we're looking for the least effective technique. When I search activated carbon and look that up in the document, I find that on page 94, an activated carbon is a treatment technique for taste and odor control. When I look up potassium permanganate, I find that on page 94 as well of the document, but it talks about sometimes potassium permanganate leaves visible products of the reaction in the water. So I'm going to make a note of that. Just note that I found that because that's something that stands out to me. Okay, so we write that down as a note. And then I search chlorine dioxide in the document and look that up. And I find chlorine dioxide on page 73 of this document. And I see that chlorine dioxide is recommended as a water treatment technique to control taste and odor. So cross that out. So given all of my research quickly here in searching each of these techniques in the recommended standards for waterworks document, I find that what stands out to me is that the potassium permanganate leaves the visible products in the water, which would not be desirable because drinking water is going to be provided to residents in their homes and businesses, and people do not want to see visible products of the reaction in the water delivered for them to drink or wash dishes or take a shower, etc. So we use our engineering judgment. Good engineering judgment is something that stands out that makes potassium permanganate not the best technique. And so that is our answer. Answer choice C is potassium permanganate is the least effective water treatment technique for controlling taste and odor. So I thank you for joining us today as we work through this problem. And I invite you to check us out at civilengineeringacademy.com for more practice and enroll in one of our depth or breadth courses as you prepare for the civil PE exam. We are here to help you on your journey towards success. See you next time.